I mean, <laughs> what I appreciated with uh, Peacemaker and the Suicide Squad is that, tonally speaking, it is mocking what Zack Snyder was trying to do. I agree. I mean, it's brilliant. It's like, yeah, okay, Zack Snyder wants a dark, edgy, everything, but James Gunn is saying, you can do that, but it's really a joke, and here's how it's a joke. <laughs> Well, let's 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 broach that uh, for a second because that was something that I know a lot of people had hit me up personally about too, and we were like, I, you know, I I'm concerned about uh, the tone of the DC universe going forward, and with James Gunn in charge, I think that everybody's afraid it's going to turn into Marvel jokiness. No, and it's I said different. I don't think so. Um, no, because yeah, no, James knows how to do real several jokes, different kinds of types of movies, and not only that, I don't expect him to come in there all egotistically because we know he was never hopped up on the he's been offered superman he's been offered some of these other you know bigger characters and he's turned them down and i think james is smart enough to know that that's not his stuff so he'll what he'll do is stick to what he's been doing but he'll find the people to put into place um because now they're you know we've heard rumors recently about the director of top gun 2 maybe looking they're looking into for maybe super that would be such a coup if they um, could get him and not only that i mentioned look at all the fucking marvel friends he could bring over from disney yeah uh i mean there's everybody from peyton reed to to even maybe john favreau who's to say john favreau couldn't oh, jump ship that would be fantastic and i mean wow. that's kind of what we had happen here is that james gunn basically jumped ship and script and i were talking about this was like you know yeah he's been as far as we know reportedly reluctant to take on this role but maybe it was because he just wanted to make sure and guarantee that they were serious, he was serious, and everything was going to be in place, and he wasn't going to have to worry about getting shit canned mm -hmm. out of nowhere like he did with with Disney. Because like yesterday, the last few days have been like a a, a back and forth with Disney. It's and and Warner. It's crazy, and maybe that'll help us kind of segue into the Disney aspect of this part too. But I don't want to go too far off the well, beaten path. Before you at the same realize time, it, but yeah. um, before you do that, you have to remember James Gunn didn't jump ship. He was cast overboard and Warner True. Brothers came in and rescued him and well yeah he paid off. But I'm talking Warner about Brothers. his friends jumping ship from Disney to Warner with him is what I'm saying. But yeah. Well I mean they'd be jumping after him, not so much well, whatever. <laughs> You're the writer. You would know. <laughs> yeah. It's still a very apt comparison. And just to to uh, to emphasize that point, I agree with what you said to Tom about him waiting for the right deal because you said this long time ago like you've been saying this for months that Saslaw has been courting James Gunn and he's been reluctant the whole time which tells me uh, since he did it now he wasn't willing to do it until they had the right deal now what's the right deal there's obviously many many things yeah, there's, there's obviously no the money question but i don't think that's the most important much more important is as you said before that he's not gonna get thrown aboard like he was from marvel overboard Disney. yeah we'll we'll get uh we'll get uh, back to that in a moment here but also i think it's a matter of creative oversight uh for for good and bad because i don't think that he i think that he is smart enough to know the kind of movies that he can do himself yeah but also i think he's smart enough to know that this movie i can't do but this is how it needs to be i know yeah. as a fan as a reader i know that this is the kind of movie that's needed for this character I can't make that movie myself. My own James Gunn isms aren't going to work for it. But this guy right here, he's perfect for that. I really think that he has the smarts and the understanding of these characters in this universe that he could do what Kevin Feige did for Marvel before Kevin Feige went nuts. Well, I think James Gunn is a movie fan. He's going to enjoy watching the interpretations of other talented people he's not going to be jealous he's going to love seeing good work by other people especially since he'll be part of it because that's probably part of the deal that even the the stuff that he doesn't make himself he's going to get a uh, producerial credit so that oh. it's still going to be you know what his I, project I have, in a sense i would imagine that warners gave that to him they, oh, that absolutely. would not have required yeah. any kind of negotiation script uh, so what what was the reason disney tossed him over i mean he had one of the few his tweets. alan horn fired him for over his tweets ah yeah, over tweets, and tweets from a decade 
earlier when from he a was decade a earlier, yeah. Van. Because L- right. so Alan Horn uh, and I've learned this from people that have worked under him and within his room is Alan Horn is very much of the current day. Like he's, he pays attention to what's happening now, but he doesn't pay attention to what's going to happen or doesn't try to see, read the tea leaves to see what's going to happen a year from now or anything of that nature. So when people started resurfing James Gunn's uh, tweets from a decade ago and it didn't fit in the current now, you know, sphere of social media and what Cancellation. have you. Cancellation. Yeah. Uh, basically, script, it was I like, just, we're uh, going to cancel him before he ruins uh, the the uh, production of Guardians of the Galaxy 3 and we'll just get someone else. That was his yeah. perspective. And he went over ah. everybody's head and fired James Gunn. And that same week, Wonder Brothers says, please, James Gunn, come over here with us. And Alan Horn got reamed out at Disney for doing that by Feige and Iger because ah. yeah, he wasn't supposed to have done that. And James Gunn was pretty much appointed a producer within Marvel Studios to helm the cosmic side of Marvel stories for the foreseeable future. Uh, once he finished Guardians of the Galaxy, he was going to do other cosmic characters. Possibly Nova Core was, was one of them. And that was all thrown out the window when Alan Horn just decided to quickly kick him to the curb. And then yeah. Funnily enough, James Gunn's at Warner Brothers, and then Zaslav brings Alan Horn in as a consultant. So I'd love to see if, what be on the fly on the wall if those two ever cross paths again, because I'm <laughs> sure on the surface they'd be polite and reconcile with each other, but beneath the, the surface, I think James is going to be like, "Why did that guy do that?" <laughs> yeah. Well, and, and here's also, the thing. Okay, carry on, Tom. Well, th- this whole campaign came about because it was retaliation for Roseanne Barr. Exactly. Which was a little bit different situation I'm not going to get into right now other than her and Bob Iger had an agreement that she broke. That's why she got fired. That's the main reason, and it's in his book, and it's all talked about in there. The James Gunn situation, on the other hand, it w- they were digging, 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 trying to find everything they could. They There's a bunch of bullshit out there about some of the things, saying that he was linked to certain uh, things that shouldn't be linked to. That was not true. They were mo- They were all jokes. There was some people trying to paint some connections between him and other people. There was people lying about other things. Here's the thing. I'm not saying that James Gunn is a perfect person. I'm not saying he's innocent, but he has never had an accusation. And as far as I know, he was investigated during all this stuff and they didn't find anything. So in that respect, to me, it was a big cancel campaign by a group of people who were trying to get retaliation for Ozambar. Actually, it was, uh, from from my recollection, it was a group of people led by, was it Cernovich? I don't recall. It was some remember, conservative yeah. personality. And the whole they didn't point like his here, Trump tweets, so they went after him in the history. Yeah, here's like the thing, that they were like, okay, you cancel so many on our side by, by judging us with your contemporary standards on tweets done decades ago but we can apply this to your to you guys as well okay here's a shit list of people we don't like and james gunn is on it so we're just gonna go back in time and look at their older tweets yeah it was Arnovich. and then he simply shared some of james gunn's older tweets and some of those were they weren't pretty. Let's be honest. They were Their trauma really, level really jokes. horrible, yeah. nasty stuff. But at the now, same the jokes time, were stupid. Yeah, they, they they were they were jokes, and there was no actual action behind it. How disgusting the the tweets themselves may have been. But the moment Alan Horn saw this, then, as indicated, he decided that okay, here we must protect Disney's image. So this guy has to be fired right away. And as Script said, he didn't think about tomorrow. He just assumed, oh, we'll just get another one to do Guardians of the Galaxy Part 3. But you can't do Guardians of the Galaxy without James Gunn no. now. It's his. It can't be done without yeah. him. And, and also, the irony is that uh, Alan Horn never realized that a few years after James Gunn made those tweets, he publicly apologized for the inappropriate jokes and behavior. That too. Not only that, that I've too. seen, look, and I will say this, like I said, I have no idea if he's innocent or not, but I will say that I've seen a lot of people try to take a big high stance on this, and I'm sure they've laughed at South Park and Airplane before. Yes, these jokes were not in good taste. Yeah, they may not have been funny to most people, but it's no different than any of the type of jokes that have been made in tons of other media before, well, you, you just, just because they weren't funny. You need to see <laughs> Columbus's tweets from 1492. Right? Nasty. And what he said about indigenous peoples. Whoa, oh, my gosh. I mean, I don't even remember whether he apologized or not, but those were, <laughs> those were nasty tweets. 
Uh, so yeah. So yeah, but I I feel like we're watching uh, uh baseball teams trading pitchers and players right now. You yeah. have the the uh, uh, people at Amazon who let um, uh, not Chip. What's the guy's name? Chibble. Uh, Chibnall. Chibnall go <laughs> over to HBO Max. It looks like HBO is is now going to be the New York Yankees of uh, Hollywood Studios. Just Wait, Chibnall, Chris Chibnall, Doctor Who, Chris Chibnall. No, 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 no. Uh, oh, the the guy who's done House of uh, Dragons. Oh. oh, oh, okay, right. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Condal, uh, Condal, Condal. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, no. I was like, Chib thinking, no, don't need Chibnall. Want, uh, want Chibnall. <laughs> don't need I mean, Chibnall. If you want to sink your front, but yeah, Condal, absolutely. So you got yeah, Condal right. now. You have got thing. Gun. Like, who else are they going to now collect? This is this is going to be a place where talented producers want to go. That's the other side of the coin that the other studios are are just not getting their mere presence is not going to be attracting good people. What Zaslav is doing right now is, 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 you know, they have uh, collected, so, you know, quality team of creative people. That's going to attract other creative people. This is just going to build. 